Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of Teardown Tuesday. Today we're taking a look at a gas hose quick disconnect. And these are super common. They last a long time. They don't have a lot of service failures, but they do have some interesting and unique properties in the way they're built that give them some interesting features. So we'll get into that as we go further. So first to talk about what this thing does, you typically see these installed on the end of a gas hose or on a, a piece of pipe. And the gas flow comes into this side of the coupler. And you can see it's, it's labeled here. The gas flow is always going in this direction. When you have a piece of equipment, you may have this on the hose or you may have this on the piece of equipment. And you put these two pieces together so you have no gas flow like this. Put these two pieces together and now you have gas flow. There are some safety features built into this as well. And in particular, there's this ring in here where if this the entire assembly were to get so hot that that plastic could melt, the gas flow through this coupler would stop. Taking a look at the outside of it, there's two pieces, main two main pieces. This part is uh, the gas nipple and this one is the quick disconnect and you can see there's some data on here some some part numbers the flow tells you always should go in this direction and a max operating pressure of 25 psig now that that's really high for a gas line right most of the time we're talking inches of water column not psi but it just goes to show you these can take quite a bit of pressure when you take a look this one also says indoor use only when you take a look inside you can see the series of, of balls around the inside here. It's almost like a, an air fitting for a pneumatic impact wrench or blowgun. There's an O-ring seal down inside. You can see that. And then down on the bottom is this assembly here. And it's got holes in it, but it's not immediately clear what it does. And that is a check plunger. So that plunger has a spring behind it here. And you can see if I push it in, let's see if you, you can see it kind of move there. It does not move very far. If we put the nipple side back in, you can see it kind of lift up as that seats in. And then the holes drilled around it here allow the gas to flow through it. That lip that's sticking up pushes directly onto this plastic ring, this bushing. And this is the fire protection device I mentioned earlier, right? So if it gets too hot, it starts to lose its shape, lose its form, and that spring pressure on the plunger will push it into that nipple and close that safety plunger. So that's why it's really critical that this side always be on the gas coming to the equipment so that when you disconnect the hose, the flow stops. This side, the nipple side, does not have any flow control in it. It's just a three-quarter pipe thread and a through hole. So let's pull this apart so you can see all the internals of it. So there's our retainer. Now we've got our sleeve here. So there's the sleeve. There's the spring that keeps it shut. And then behind that we have the just a spacer ring here, and then here's our assembly all put together. So those balls, when the, the nipple goes into that fitting, seat in like this. And by having them all the way around the outside, it locks it in until you slide that sleeve back and they can expand outward. So when that sleeve is all the way up, they're forced to hold that piece together. Now, I am not entirely sure how to get the plunger out here. Might take a little bit of experimentation. All right, well that was an adventure. Had to do a number on the spring here to get it out of the body because it looks like this is all one piece. 
But now you can see the safety plunger. And again, the safety plunger is pushed in by that plastic ring. So if you look, it's a very precise fit. When the nipples remove, the plunger closes on spring force and seals on this O-ring. That stops our flow of gas. So now let's see if we can pop out this little, uh, little safety ring here. Uh, I'll show you exactly how that all fits together. There it's coming out. All right, so there's our melt ring or our safety ring. You can see it's just plastic. And our plunger will actually fit inside that nipple without that ring there. So if that ring again gets hot and melts, the plunger just pushes it out of the way and the entire disconnect will stop flowing gas. So let's talk about the principles that we're using here. At a, a really basic level, we've got some mechanical force systems, so it's mostly spring powered. We've also got the uh, small ball bearing lock mechanism there, and that's just a, a ramp, like a basic simple lever. That's about it. When we talk about how it fails, the way that they fail is usually getting so dirty, so greasy, so gummed up that the mechanism no longer will slide here and the, the ball bearings won't release or, or engage in the nipple side anymore. So the two pieces won't fit together and they won't lock together once they get really, really greasy. You can try and clean it, but it's usually not worth the time. It's very hard to get inside of it. It's almost impossible to get down in and clean the actual plunger mechanism. So if you have one that's really dirty, typically just replace it. The other failure that you can see in these, uh, that if this becomes gummed up, the plunger mechanism, it won't come all the way closed inside the body. So you, you disconnect the equipment from the line or from the hose and you continue to get a little bit of gas flow out. That's a way it can fail. Uh, and the last one is really the, the safety ring here. If this gets damaged either by being too hot or just getting brittle over time, it can break and come apart and then the disconnect won't flow gas when it's put together. So pretty simple as far as a, a mechanical device goes, but a very interesting, unique way it's put together. The safety feature in particular is pretty commonly misunderstood. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Hi folks, my name is Jack Kell and I'm a senior technical trainer for SmartCare. The video you've just watched is part of a larger series of technical training videos we make available to our technicians at SmartCare. If you found this interesting and you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll be releasing a new component teardown video every Tuesday in 2022. If you're already a smart care technician and you have a part that you'd like to see me tear down, please reach out to me internally for shipping instructions. If you're not a smart care technician, but you or someone you know would like to learn more about a career as a service technician specializing in commercial restaurant equipment, please check out our open positions at www dot smartcaresolutions dot com forward slash careers. Thanks for watching.